What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy, had a strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, and awesome. All right, everybody. So March 31st, 2024, massive vision that the Lord had given me. And Father, if there's anything that you want to add, feel free and do so. You know how we do it. All right. So the massive vision started off in outer space. I was with Jesus Christ and we were looking at the earth. So the first area he pointed my attention to was Iran. So from outer space's viewpoint, I could see like an explosion, like fire spreading from a, a center point going outwards. I saw that in outer space. Then the Lord zoomed in my vision and viewpoint of what was happening in detail. So it's like on a map I saw digitally, I ran. And I saw like this explosion happen, but there were people running around everywhere, yelling and screaming and yelling. And what I noticed off in the distance around were like oil tankers and an oil plant. So not sure if that has anything to do with oil or dispute over oil. I'm not sure about that part, but that's what I had seen. That's what the Lord had shown me. OK, he didn't really say too much about it, but that explosion was self-explanatory. Um, I mean, you know, something going off. Boom. People screaming. That's pretty self-explanatory. Moving on, I seen the digital profiles of Joe Biden in Washington. I seen Emmanuel Macron and France and China's president and Putin and Russia. This is what the Lord had to say. They are only mere men. They think I cannot see right through them. The world shall see who I really am. So very, again, self-explanatory. The Lord saying men are doing things. They are aware of what they're doing the plans they have that may not be beneficial to people who they are in leadership of. Well, the Lord sees right through everything. They are just mere men. They have no control over God and what he's going to do. I hope that makes sense. The next big thing I saw in this vision was the earth shaking. So we're back in outer space, the earth shaking. I saw the earth shaking. Literally. Then I saw USA in big letters. This is what the Lord said. There shall be a massive earthquake, a great shakening. So in USA, I saw the letters USA, a great earthquake in the US. But he also said it shall be in various places. So very big shakings. Now, we already saw that in Japan. But for the US, a huge one like that isn't like you know, we get them in certain areas, but he talking about big. I'm talking real big. So I saw it, the earth shaking as a whole, a great shaking is coming. OK, so he said in various places. Now, we know that in the word, it tells us that there will be earthquakes. But the Lord is specifically telling us that there will be a massive one in the U.S. OK, just to be clear. You don't have to worry about it. So don't start freaking out about that. <laughs> if you have the Lord, you're all good. Again, he showed me this again about Peru in big letters. I saw Peru in big letters. I saw a volcano. And it, you know how volcanoes start becoming active and erupting and they start making noise. And, you know, you can hear an eruption and so forth and see it. That's what I saw and heard. And I saw that in a forest-like area with a bunch of trees again. So just going back to that warning he gave me back in January, towards the end of January, about Peru and a volcano for judgment. So I did pray about that and pray that people come to God and not worship these false gods and so forth. 
This last part, I was in the desert in Egypt, standing with Jesus. And we were a bit away from the pyramids, but Jesus was pointing to the pyramids and he said, reconstruction. I also saw the words reconstruction. That's what he said. Then also with Egypt, separately from the pyramids, the Lord said, Egypt, a solution. So when I heard that, it was a connection between what was going to happen with Iran and so forth, where either now the Lord didn't specifically say this, either Egypt would be a solution to something or people will look to Egypt as a form of a solution. So I'm not sure how that's going to play out, you know, especially with oil and so forth. If there are disputes over that, um, we're going to have to see and Maybe God will give more on that to another. We do prophesy in part, so who knows? But that's what he had given me in full, everybody. If there's any questions you have, I'm not God. I only can give you what God gives me. <laughs> so ask the Lord if you have questions. I do see a lot of people asking me certain things that the Lord hasn't given me and asking me questions. I'm not the Lord. You know, build that relationship with God to personally ask him so he can show you. If he's not showing you, he probably knows you and knows you're going to flip and freak out if he shows you. So in other words, it's probably don't worry about it, <laughs> you know. So the Lord is basically just telling you, seek him, focus on him. And that's it, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's all, everybody. Peace and blessings. And I will catch y'all in the next one.